Hi everybody, it's your old buddy Brad here. Today I am going to be um, explaining to you how I do my, uh, what I'm calling my curl 3D technique. Um, I have used the same technique in these uh, images here. Um, to me, some of it kind of resembles like um, what's known as Amazing Surf in Manibald 3D. Um, but that's just me. Uh, but that's why I'm calling it a Curl 3D technique because it's not exactly like Amazing Surf. Um, so, let's get started. I'm going to start with a new flame. And this is a very easy technique to set up. And most of it can be done with just one transform. So first, we want to use Curl 3D. Keep the defaults. We are going to select Post Mirror. The X axis is already enabled. So I'm going to Enable Y axis, just set that to 1. And we're going to set the Z axis to 1. Now, since we're only using one transform to add color to it, I am going to also add a DC linear. We are not going to um, touch this much here. Then we are going to enable our solid rendering. Make sure post transform is off. And I'm just moving and scaling down the transform here on the XY axis. Now I'm going to get rid of the lines in the gradient. So if we go to the Gradient tab, click on Modify Gradient, click on Blur, and smooth it out some here. Go to the 3D Rendering tab. <coughs> Excuse me. Keep ambient shadows enabled. We're going to turn on hard shadows. Say it ambient to one. Click on the light settings. Light intensity to one. Shadow intensity to one. I'm going to adjust our pitch here some under the camera tab. Now with this being a 3D um, technique, we are going to be using the X, Y, Y, Z, and Z, X axes a lot. Axes? Um, so let's try switching to the YZ plane here. We'll move that some and shrink it down. And by rotating, this is a, uh, and you see we will start getting this type of Separation here, doing a quick render. Let's see if I can make that brighter. Materials, set up the ambient some.
yeah, that's a lot better to see now. So I'm going to change the yaw of it. Now you see how we are getting like these, the edges are coming up and curving and that's what we are wanting. We are wanting the um, shapes to like curl around each other. Click, go back to the XY axis. Again, you just move and rotate some. A lot of this I am doing while, even though I am not seeing the results immediately in this viewer, if you watch the uh, thumbnail, that also um, helps as you're going along. Get some ro rotating. Come down here on the ZX axis, and then we can make some more changes. Rotating. We can bring it down some. And as you notice, we are still only on one transform. We haven't messed with the um, Cool 3D settings. Uh, we haven't messed with the mirror settings yet. But now we can start experimenting with those. Um, under the Curl 3D, just make some minor changes to get the shapes that we're wanting. Uh, I kind of like that. Let's see how it looks here real quick. I like that. I like that. You do a yard. You can see all the 3D goodness of what's going on. Let's try going back to the YZ plane and adjusting more. That's another cool shape. I'm liking that. So there are, um, and then you can also adjust the post mirror setting to bring it in closer, get more of a boxy feel to it. We can make, spread them out, bring them closer. Adjusting the mirror. Whoa. Too much. So while we are only having really two transforms, you can see there is a lot of different shapes that you can get with just these two. If it gets too much, you can just shrink them down some. Of course, you can always zoom in. Then, if you want to have some fun, we can also add more uh, variations to it. So here I'm going to add an object mesh. I like using the cube for this one. 
So I'm going to select primitive 5. And a little trick is if we want to add some spikes to it, I'm going to take the scale, scale it down. And we're going to scale this way down. Scale Y. Use the scale Z sign. Now, if we go back to the scale X, I'm going to change this to minus. 50 you can see how much this can really go uh, really get some really cool effects here now if you don't want that one solid one you can Make the transform hidden. That will get rid of that big one here. Or we can also try changing it. Let's go back to our sphere. To kind of smooth off the tips. Do a little rotating. Put the yaw. Another quick render here. So that um, is really the basic process for doing this curl 3D technique. If you have any questions, please let me know. Until next time, talk to you later. Bye.